Hello and welcome to Math on the Go. In this video we will be discussing a geometry puzzle known as the shortest walk. I like mathematical puzzles because they require a bit of thinking along with some trial and error, which is something you experience throughout all sorts of math classes. So let's get on to the problem. The problem states that an ant starts at one vertex of a cube with the cube having sides of equal length. In this case we are using a 3 by 3 by 3 centimeter cube with each face being a 3 by 3 centimeter square. Calculate the shortest distance the ant can walk to the furthest vertex from the starting point. This problem does have more than one solution, and I suggest that you pause the video and take a few minutes to have a think about this problem before following through with the rest of this video. So, hopefully you paused the video for a few minutes and gave this puzzle a try. If not, you can pause now, and when you unpause the video, I will give the solution to the problem. So, if we have this cube with the ant starting at vertex A, we want the ant to walk the shortest distance to get to B. If the ant walks across this edge, this edge, and this edge to get to B, it will have traversed 9 centimeters. Similarly, if it went this way, this way, and this way, or this way, this way, and then this way, it is also 9 centimeters. So the question is, is this the shortest path the ant can take? I'm sure you've all heard that the shortest distance between two points or vertices is a straight line. On a three-dimensional cube, how do you draw a straight line between the two furthest vertices? So, what you want to do is the ant starts here, and it walks down here, and then the ant walks there. While this may not appear to be a straight line, we can see that when we unfold the cube from three dimensions to a two-dimensional object, this line is in fact a straight line from A to B. Okay, so how long is this line? Is it actually shorter than the nine centimeter walk the ant would take along the edges? We're going to break out the old trustworthy Pythagorean theorem to help us solve this. We'll mark the straight line from A to B as our C. And then this will be side A, and this will be side B. This side is 3 centimeters. This is 3 centimeters. And this is 3 centimeters. So, what we have is we have triangle. This is our A, this is our B, this is side A, this is side B, and this is side C. This side is 3 centimeters, this was 2, 3 centimeters, so that's 6 centimeters. How long is this side? Well, with Pythagorean Theorem, we just substitute in some numbers. So our A is 3 squared, our B is 6 squared, and we're trying to find our C. So 3 squared is 9, plus 36 equals C squared. So 36 plus 9 is 45 equals C squared. Now we take the square root of both sides. And that gives us just C on the right side. Now. The square root of 45 is not a perfect square, so to figure out what square root of 45 equals, we will factor it. So we end up with 9 times 5 equals C. And the square root of 9 is 3, and we can't reduce 5 anymore. So that leaves us with C equals 3 square roots of 5. Now, if we plug that into our calculator, we find out that C equals 6.7082. And I will round it to just C equals 6.7 centimeters, which is the shortest walk the ant could take. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to get updated when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.